Hi there! Welcome back to Pretty Much Flawless. Today in this video, we are going to be cleaning up the Y and Z axes on a Bridgeport type mill. And we'll also be adding more Waylude. Let's get into it. Alright, so here's the milling machine. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean the Y axis ways along with the Z axis ways. And we're going to add more Waylude into our one shot pump down here. So let's get into it. Alright, so this is the ways for the y-axis here, and you can see it is kind of a mess. It just has some grime and some junk on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some spray 9 and some shop rags, and we are going to clean this all up. So right now I have the y-axis cranked all the way forward, just so we can get back here. And then any chips that are on the way, we just want to get those off too, so... We want to make sure there's no chips in this crack right along here. Alright, that's good for the y-axis on this side. So we'll crank the y-axis back here and then we'll clean up on the front part and then we'll switch over to the z-axis. Alright, that's good. So I'll crank the y-axis all the way back again, and then we'll clean up the z-axis. Alright, so now we have the z-axis cranked all the way down. So now we can get at the top of the z-axis waste part here. So we'll do the same thing. We'll spray it with some spray 9 and wipe it down and clean this up. And then we'll crank it all the way up, and then we'll clean the bottom part. Alright, so that's pretty good. So now we'll just crank the whole z-axis to the top here, and then we'll clean the bottom part. One thing we don't want to do when we're cranking the z-axis and the table up here, we don't want to hit the tool. You could just remove the tool, and that'd be fine. Well, on this machine, the air power drawbar doesn't work. There'll be a future videos on that, and yeah, so we'll, we'll have to watch out for that. Alright, so now we got the z-axis cranked all the way up, so now we can work on the bottom of the z-axis waves. So, same procedure, just spray 9 and then wipe it down. So there's some filings in the crack right here, I'm going to get a small screwdriver to see if we can get all those out. All right, so that's good. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna clean up the any chips that fell on the y-axis when we were cleaning the z-axis. So we'll do that. So now I'm just gonna wipe off all the chips of our uh, y-axis readout here. 
And then we'll wipe down our one shot pump here. Just cleaned up before we add any way lube. Good, all right, so I think the best way to put way lube in this is we'll crank the set axis all the way down again, just so this is nice and low, so then we can pour it in better. So let's do that. All right, so the first thing we have to do is open this pail of way lube. So we're gonna pull on these two tabs right here, get underneath them here, and then pull up. There's four parts here where it's connected, just a little dot of plastic that's connected. We have to pull those off and break those, so that's good. And then so we got these up, and now we're just going to pull up on this. Just going to pull up, do a bit of a circular motion, get this pulled up here. Good, that's pulled up. And now what we're going to do is we're going to unscrew this, just turning it counterclockwise. And there we go, that's good. So now we have to pull this ring right here and open up, open up to the way loop here. There we go, got that cap popped off, that's good. And now we can get ready to pour this way lube into the pump. All right, so it's a little bit hard to pour this brand new five gallon pail of way lube into our way lube container. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a smaller container, put some way lube in this, and then put that in it, pour that into our way lube pump. So we'll do that. All right, so I got some whey lube in my other con smaller container here. I still spilled a bit just because of how full this uh, this five gallon pail is, but it should be even the next time I pour. So that should be good. So now we'll fill. We'll put this into our whey lube pump. All right, so here's our one shot pump right here. So as you can see, this is our indicator to see how much whey lube we have in here, and it is empty. You can. You can kind of see there's a little tiny bit at the bottom right there, but the rest of this is empty. So we'll fill that up until it's up to the top here, up to this red marker right there. All right, so we'll unscrew the cap of the way loop just turning counterclockwise. And we got that off. That's good. And there's a little basket that has a filter at the bottom there. We'll leave that in as we're filling it up. All right, so now we'll take a funnel and put it on our way loop container here and then we'll just pour in our way loop. All right, that's good. That's right up to the red line. Filled up, that's very good. Good, so now we'll just put the cap back on. Good, so now this is fill filled with whey lube. We'll give this some pump, we'll give this a pump or two and just get some whey lube onto the ways. We'll give the one shot pump a few pumps here. And we should be able to, we should be seeing, you can see whey lubes coming out here, right on, on below the table here. And there should be whey lube coming out on the Z axis and also the Y axis too. So let's run these, we're gonna run the Y axis back and forth and then run the Z axis up and down. And then the, the whey lube should be covering all the ways. So that should be good. So we'll do that. All right, so when I was cranking it down again, I noticed there are some chips on the Z-axis ways here. I guess once we got that oil pumped, it uh, 
kind of got left them stuck to the ways here. So we'll just wipe those chips off. So we got the uh, Waylu back on, and now we, I don't have to worry about these things rusting since we got Waylu on. So that's good. Thanks for watching this video today. Hope you learned something. If you did, please subscribe. That would really help my channel. And I'll see you next time.